Hey guys, Ivan here, and we are literally like an hour or two away from Arnold Classic, but we got a couple of very interesting updates, and I had to make another video, another preview of the Arnold Classic, because these are kind of changing things for me. First of all, we have Samson Dauda, who, as you can see, is really freaking conditioned. Now that he finally dehydrated and carved up completely, as you can see, this video was taken at 4.30 p.m. It was posted by Milo Sharchev. Uh, this is basically what you're gonna see on the stage. It probably won't get much better or worse than this. Take a look at the glutes right here. The glutes are looking pretty conditioned, right? And everything else really looks better, honestly. Like, his arms, to me, look bigger and fuller and shoulders as well. And I don't think he ever was this conditioned. This kind of condition reminds me of Sean Roden, may he rest in peace, the way he looked in 2018. I mean, it's not that kind of conditioning, but it's kind of similar, uh, the, the, the structure of the skin, the thinness of the skin. And overall, the shape of this physique reminds me of Sean a little bit, so I think Samson is bringing something really good. Still, we haven't seen anything from Andrew Jacked, but we've seen a lot from, from Nick Walker, and honestly, based on this... I wouldn't be too surprised if Samson actually won this thing and beat Nick Walker because, damn, he looks amazing. He looks crazy, he looks ridiculous right now. So in about an hour or two, we're gonna get to see him on stage and see what he's gonna do. It's already very late over here in Serbia, so I don't know if I'm gonna catch it live. If I don't, I'll just make a video tomorrow morning, but as you can see, Samson is definitely bringing something crazy. Then the next thing is also very, very interesting. It's Big Ramy. This photo leaked, I can't tell you where it leaked, but a couple of people sent me this screenshot and this is actually from a couple of weeks ago, so this is not his current conditioning, don't worry. He is not completely off with conditioning, I'm sure his conditioning improved since this point, but the thing here, very very important thing here that you can see, is there are no dents in the quads. So, yeah, Big Ramy fixed them. Whatever they were, we have no idea, we still don't know what they were, were they from injections or whatever the hell was happening over there, it's gone. It's definitely much better looking right now, I mean, they are completely gone, you can't really see them. Can you even see where they were? I don't know, maybe a tiny little bit, maybe like there is 5% of them left, but like they're gone, they won't be noticeable on stage. So that's definitely a huge thing for Big Ramy, a really good thing for him. As far as everything else from the front, like there weren't many things wrong about his physique from the front, aside from those uh, dents in the quads. You can still see that his triceps and forearms are atrophied, as they were on the Mr. Olympia stage, so that is not really significantly improved. And also Chad said that triceps aren't really that much better, nor is his back. But his chest was fine, his abs were kind of washed up a little, but now that he that he's probably gonna peak better, they're probably gonna look better when he's drier and fuller and everything like that. So I think his physique overall is gonna look better than the Mr. Olympia. At the Mr. Olympia, Big Remy beat Samson. And if he shows up now looking better, is he gonna be able to beat him again? I don't think so. I mean, it makes sense. You know, when you put it that way, like he beat him at the Mr. Olympia with those dents, looking horrible, not being picked well, holding water. So if he is even better now, is he gonna be able to beat Samson again? I don't think so, because Samson, I think Samson improved a lot. And I think Samson was better than Remy at the Mr. Olympia. Because of those injuries, Big Remy fell down from first to fifth. And they probably didn't want to give him less than fifth. So I think Samson was already better. Adam is Mr. Olympia, and now he went even one step further, so I think he's gonna leave Big Ram in the dust. That's just what I think, I could be totally wrong, but based on what I'm seeing from both of these guys, I think it's time for the new era of bodybuilders, and Samson is one of those guys. Now, as far as Big Ramy, again, yes, dance, gone. That's a big thing, that's a big improvement, but I still don't think it's gonna be enough for Big Ramy to win or to be in top two, top three. The next one is very interesting, it is Akeem Williams, who is looking incredible, guys, he is dry, he is shredded, I don't know if he was in this condition when he placed 6 at the Mr. Olympia 2020, Hakim is bringing something insane to the table, I mean this guy is one of the biggest guys on that stage, one of the freakiest guys, incredible, incredible legs, 
crazy peaky humongous biceps one of the thickest chest in the industry in, in bodybuilding today very weak back i know i think it's improved a little i think his posing is also better but from the front and from the side this guy is going to be very dominant i wouldn't be too surprised if he beat big Ramy. now i have big Ramy in sixth and i had akim williams in seventh and i will stick with that i think that's probably gonna be the outcome but akim is the next guy if big Ramy messes up i think akim is going to be the one to take him out because, I mean, just look at this guy. You don't even have to know that he was 6th Mr. Olympia and that he's as big as he is. Just look at his physique. It looks incredible, guys. So, I'm really curious to see what he actually brings to the stage. Because this could be a big surprise, this guy. Next up, we also have a little update of Kamal El Gargni. Now, in this photo, everything looks good on him. Like, he looks really good. Aside from being a 212 guy and, like, much smaller than everybody else in that lineup... You know, he looks fresh here, even though he's an older guy. And in some of previous updates, his legs did seem a little downsized and his back seemed a little atrophied. Here you can see that. Again, he's hitting the side chest, which is his, probably his best pose. And he looks conditioned, he looks full, he looks fresh, he looks round. But still, I don't really think he's gonna beat any of these guys. Unless maybe Justin Rodriguez fails with conditioning or, for example, Patrick Moore's legs really hold him back that much. But I don't think so. I still have Kamal in my last place. Even though he does look very good uh, in this photo, I still, he doesn't look, he is not that good for this kind of lineup. And there is also this photo of Nick Walker after he put a tan on. As you can see, one is from the last night and one is from this morning. And uh, they are pretty much similar. Maybe he looks a little bit drier in the morning. But overall, yeah, that, that's basically it. I mean, he's bringing it, man. This guy is really bringing it. As you can see, his glutes are completely dialed in. And now that he carved up a little, he looks fuller. He looks bigger under this lighting as well. And that was something a lot of people were worried about as far as Nick Walker. He did seem a little flat in all of the updates that we saw so far. But that's normal. That's how he always does it. Like, he's always really flat depleted the last couple of weeks of the prep. But in the end, when he carbs up, I mean, this guy is a really big guy. So he can afford to get, you know, a little bit uh, depleted, a little bit flat when he's prepping. That's how he gets conditioned. And he is kind of known for conditioning. So... As you can see, he's bringing it. He definitely brought it. Already you can see it. Like, he is really, really peeled. And with all of his size. And once he's on that stage. You now, this photo was taken in the morning. There is still an entire day for him to fill up. To dry out even more. So, yeah. I mean, he is definitely the favorite. Even right now, after all we've seen. He is still the favorite. The only guy that I can imagine beating him. Uh, the, the guys that we saw. The updates. That's Samson Dauda. We still haven't seen anything from Andrew Jacked. However, I did watch the podcast with Fuad Abiyad where Chris Asito was a guest and he said that Andrew is bringing something. He's going to over-deliver, actually. That's what Chris said. He's going to bring something that people are not expecting. So if that happens, then I can see Andrew beating Nick right now. Based on what I saw, I still think Nick is going to win this show. But we'll find out very, very soon, guys. So stay tuned subscribe to this channel and if you enjoyed this video guys please give it a thumbs up thank you so much for watching all the best and bye bye